Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create smooth animations or transitions using something called tweens. So let's take a look at this really simple project. You can see here I have just a color rectangle. I've got a button down here at the bottom called glide and then I have a sprite with an image texture and you can see the image texture here and in our scene tree it's called blue orb. And so what I'd like to be able to do is when I press the glide button, I want this orb to move to the right side of the screen, but I don't want it to move instantly. I want it to move smoothly over to the right hand side. And then if I was to hit glide again, I would like it to move back and forth, left and right. And I want that animation to be smooth. Now, in order to do that, we are going to use a new type of node called a tween. So let me go ahead and add that. And if you search on T-W-E-E-N, you can add a tween, just like that. Now, let's take a look at Godot's documentation about what a tween is. So here's the Godot documentation, and it says, what does a tween do? It smoothly animates a node's properties over time. Well, that's not too helpful, so let's read the description. Tweens are useful for animations requiring a numerical property to be interpolated or changed over a range of values. The name tween comes from in-betweening, an animation technique where you specify keyframes and the computer interpolates the frames that appear between them. And so this is some sample code that we are going to be using to take a look at how to actually make our tweens run. So let's, let's come back over to our code the current X position, if I look at transform, the current X position of this blue orb, it has an X value of 100. That's important because we are going to move it from X100 over to here, which is about X924, and we're going to send it back and forth. So how are we going to do that? Well, first we need a signal connected to our button node. So let's come over here. We're going to add a press signal. Make sure main selected, boom. Now, in our function that Godot has provided for us, I'm just going to do a quick check. I'm going to say if blue orb, if its position, its X position is equal to 100, then I want to do something. And if it's not that, then I want to do something else. And for right now, let's just put in pass. Now, because I've already added tween here, I can reference that tween by just saying dollar sign tween dot. And what I want to do is interpolate a property. What does that mean? That means I just want to change a property over time. Now, importantly, we have to give tweens a lot of information. We're going to pass a lot of values between these parentheses in order for the tween to work. So the first thing, if we look here, it's telling us all of the properties that it needs. The first property that it wants to know is what object are you trying to change? And so in this case, we are trying to change the object called blue orb. And the next thing that we need to do is tell it which property we are going to change. And so that actually is a string, and we're going to say position x like that. We want to change the x value of blue orb's position property. And then we have to tell it, well, what's the initial value? Well, we know in our if statement that we're starting out at an x position of 100, so we're going to say start at 100, and then we need to tell it where do we want it to go to. Well, I want it to slide all the way across the screen. So I'm going to say go over to an X value of 924, comma. And now it's saying, well, what's the duration of this animation? How long do you want it to last? And this is in seconds. So I could pass in a value of one. I want it to take one second to move from the left side of the screen over to the right side of the screen. Now here we have to put in some additional information. So in Godot's helping us, it's saying, what kind of function do you want to use to translate this property over time? And for right now, we'll just use a, whoops, we will just use a 
linear function. And now it's going to say, do you want it to ease in or ease out? And all that means is that do you want the animation to start slowly and then speed up? That's easing in. Or do you want it to ease in and ease out? Meaning it speeds up. And then at the end, it eases out. It slows down when it gets there. So let's go ahead and put ease in and out. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about these functions, Godot provides a link to this website called easings.net. This website shows you all of the different examples of functions that you can use to specify the rate of change of a property. And of course, we're just using linear, but take a look at this one. This is an example of the ease in. Notice how it starts slow and then speeds up. Let's compare that to this one, where it's going to start really slow, ease in, and then speed up. Or we might like something like this, the ease in bounce. It starts with a bounce, and then pops up, or we can ease out with a bounce. So those are different functions that we can use. And depending on the type of animation effect you're looking for, these are lots of different easing effects that can be applied. Okay, so we're just doing a, a, a linear one and we're gonna add in the ease out. Excellent, so we've passed in all of this information. And now what we wanna do is we have to simply tell our tween to start. Boom. Now let's see if that works. I'm going to save my code and let me go ahead and run this. And in theory, if I press glide, we're going to interpolate the X position property of this blue orb. And it's going to go from a property of a value of 100 all the way over to a value of 924. Let's see if that works. Let's glide. Boom. There we go. And that took one second in order for that to happen. Now, if I exit out of here, all of that is written in this code right here. So I'm going to copy that. And essentially what we're going to do is simply reverse the values if in the else condition. So instead of starting at a value of 100, I want to start at a value of 924. And I want to send it back to a value of 100. Now, just so we can see the effect, let's slow this down a little bit and tell it to take two seconds to go back. And so let me go ahead and run this code. And now we're gonna glide for one second. Boom, there we go. And on the way back, it should take twice as long. Let's glide. Good, fast and slow. Good, and that is an example of how you create smooth animations or smooth transitions using tweens in Godot.